Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of the coordinate plane and specifically how we can graph coordinates in all four quadrants and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So most of you were introduced to the coordinate plane in 5th grade and it looks something like this. You just had a basic square and you had your y coordinates on the left and your x coordinates on the bottom and everything remained positive. That's because when we first introduce students to the coordinate plane, we just look at one quadrant, and that's quadrant one, where both your x-axis and your y-axis coordinates are positive. But as you can see, when we zoom out a little bit, we actually have four different quadrants we're going to be looking at. So starting in the top right-hand corner, where both the x and the y coordinates are positive, we move counterclockwise to number them. So coordinate or quadrant two is going to be over here on the left. Your y-axis coordinates are still positive, but your x-axis coordinates have gone negative. Next, we move down to quadrant three, and that is the exact opposite of quadrant one. You see how they are diagonal from each other. Both the x and the y coordinates are negative. And then finally, we have quadrant four, where your x-axis coordinates are positive, but now your y-axis coordinates are negative. And that's important because sometimes you might get a question and it asks you to locate a specific quadrant. So remember what you started in fifth grade where everything's positive. That is quadrant one. And then just move counterclockwise. Two, three, and four. The other thing you are going to need to keep in mind is something called the origin. The origin is a very special place on our coordinate plane. It is where both our x-axis and our y-axis meet. I have it right here with a big green dot in the middle, and its coordinates are 0, 0. It is 0 away from the x-axis and 0 away from the y-axis. It is the intersection. So when you're talking or reading or listening to someone and they're discussing the origin, it literally means 0, 0. Besides that, there's not much else you can do with a coordinate plane that's going to be tricky. You might get a series of coordinates and be asked to graph them. So let's take a look at these. You're always going to read from left to right, and your first one is always going to be your x-axis, and your second one is going to be your y-axis. So think of alphabetical order. X always comes before Y. So if we have 1, 4, that means we're going to go on our x-axis over 1. So here's our 1. And then we're going to go positive 4. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4. And right up here, you see we have a little green dot on 1, 4. Our next one is going to be negative 2, 0. So that means we start with our x-axis. We're going to go over 2. And we're actually going to stay right here on the x-axis. I'm going to put a green dot right there because our y-coordinate is zero. It doesn't move up or down. Our third one here is going to be in quadrant three. Look at that. Negative six, negative two. If they're both negative, that's going to be quadrant three. So negative six is all the way over here. And now I've got to go down two, negative one, negative two. So I'm going to put a big green dot right here on negative six, negative two. And then finally four, negative four. Always reading from left to right, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, positive 4, and then negative 4 means we're going down into quadrant 4. So here is our dot. So that's just the basics of how you're going to be plotting in all four quadrants on the coordinate plane. Another type of problem you might see is when they give you a coordinate. In this case, I've given you negative 2, 1, and I've graphed it in red on the graph. And you're supposed to find a coordinate that is 5 units away from that. And since they don't tell you the five units are up, down, left, or right, we're going to graph all four directions. So if I wanted to go to the left of negative 2, 1, I'm simply going to change my x coordinate from negative 2 to negative 7, because that is five units to the left. I am not changing my y coordinate at this point. So that is one of the possibilities. If I wanted to go five units to the right, I would start at negative 2, 1, and now I'm switching over into. Uh, quadrant one because it is positive and so that is going to be three one so these are the two options five to the left five to the right if i wanted to go five up well i'm going to keep my negative two but now i'm going to change my y coordinate i'm going to change it from one all the way up to six and so negative two negative six and the final one is going to stay with my negative two x coordinate but we're going to move down one two three four five so that's going to be negative four those are your four options that are five units away 